What's up guys? Welcome back to an updated American Truck Simulator. 1.32 has been released as a beta, as many of you already know. And well, I'm going to go through all this and discover this all myself with you guys. So I do have a new truck here in front of me. If you guys watched the Facebook live stream, which went really well, by the way, I'll talk about that mid later in another video. Um, I had a, the Viper 382 or 386, 382, what the hell? Anyway, I had the Viper 386. Not even a 386, a 389. Wow, I need to wake up here. Anyway, <laughs> I had the Viper 389. It was all done up and everything. Put in the new update. Of course, removed all graphics mods, so all the the realistic roads, the U.S. Uh, expansion uh, went, uh, the the, gra the, um, the scenery went, the mountains went, all that stuff went. All the trailer mods, except for Jazzy Cat, is gone. And I'll show you guys here... Oh, I'll just do it now. Oh, I don't want that. I want this. Uh, let's go to profiles and now this will also be down in the description as well. Mods. Here we go. So here's a shop fix. If you guys don't know, the camera in the shop is jacked up. I imagine they'll release an update here eventually, but for now, this will be linked down in the description as well for you guys, so you can get into the shop and do what you need to do. Because right now. The camera is just, no, not going not gonna to work for you. Uh, so realistic finds, the Highway Patrol, the SCS Extra Parts from Pedragon is working. Uh, Big T, LED Beacons, uh, Creech is 2.7. Uh, Real Company, Peterbilt, I guess the truck works, but the fuel tank is where the steps are, and you can't move it. So the steps and the fuel tank are in the same spot. They're fighting for the same place. Uh, the stacks go through the tank, the tank and everything, so it's it, it's not pretty. It's not pretty. You guys might be okay with that, but me, no, I, I decided no. Uh, ATS heavy cargo logos that just changes everything up. So now it's a case 600 and all that other stuff. And the Jazzy Cat apparently works too. I didn't try my luck with any other trailers, so you know that is completely up to you guys. That, that I'm gonna leave that up. That, yeah, that's all up to you guys. If you guys want to test them out, go ahead. I'm not going to bother with it. I'm going to wait until everyone updates their stuff, and we'll go from there. All right, so back into the main screen here. So they changed everything up here. Graphics-wise, too, it looks like there's been changes here to the graphics, and we'll get more into that here in a moment. Uh, so they do have new trailers, and they're, yeah, I'll, new trailers, truck upgrades, truck dealer, everything over here is with your truck, your skills, progress, history, stuff like that. Then you get your company box down here. So recruitment agency, garage driver, all that stuff. They took the profiles down here. Here's your vehicle browser down here as well. Your photo studio is down here. So let's take a look at the vehicle browser before you had to go through your options to get to it. So a trailer browser, and this is a brand new curtain side trailer. Very, very nice. They have Different ones? Uh, there's a red one, split axle. Ah, there's the longer one. Okay. So we have finally a proper curtain trailer here, which is becoming more popular uh, over the last few years. Not just with you, know, you guys here in the game, but also in the real world. It's replaced the covered wagons, basically. And then that's the sliding tarp. And the flatbed also got a facelift. Not too shabby. Not bad at all. We got the turn signal indicator underneath there as well. Looking pretty nice. And also the dry van. I never heard of that company. Smeddy. <laughs> but the dry van got a facelift as well. So there's your 48 footer. And here's your 53 footer. Tandems all the way forward. And it looks like the chat underneath got a whole rework as well. Air ride suspension. You can see the big shock down there as well. So not too bad. Oh, we've even got a tag axle on the back of this one. Hmm. Tandems all the way back. That looks like a 48. We've got, uh, let's see, there's a flatbed. we got insulated trailers as well. All right, all right, all right. 
Same setup with the tag axle. With the axle back there. So we got a 48 with the trailer skirt and tandems forward. A 48 with the tandems all the way back, no skirt. There's your 53. And then with your drop axle. And that's your pup. So very nice. They, they, they put they put some work in here with these. I don't think they really did anything else. Uh, I don't think this is different. Yeah, I don't think that's much different. And I, and these other ones I looked as well. I don't think they're much different. Car transporter. Yeah, those are still the same. Just different cars. Yeah, nothing else is different here. So the sliding tarp, the dry van, the flatbed, insulated and refrigerated, all got reworked. And there's more to come with that. So they they do say that there are more updates to come. Uh, some of them just got completely reworked. And let me get that information up. Okay, so players can now buy, tune, and paint their trailers too since the laws and, uh, and rules are a little bit different in the uh, U.S. compared to Europe. We added the option for long or wide vehicles and oversized load banners uh, to the trailer tuning options. Just don't forget to lock the trailers up if you want to use them only for yourself since your employees might try to take them out too. So that's going to be interesting if you have a company with multiple trucks they're going to be able to take your trailer? That's that's definitely different for sure. Uh, moving on. Uh, some trailers were discarded and redesigned while the rest were uh, was adjusted for trailer ownership. This is just a first stage as development is still ongoing and we will continue for at least a few more months of hard work. But we didn't want to keep you waiting for the final result as the actual state of trailer ownership allows us to let you play with these new toys already. So they also added, they were unlocked because it was already in the game, the log trailer. The log trailer is now here that you guys can buy. So that's a preparation for Oregon. Uh, a trailer that was already in the game, you just had to have a mod to unlock it. Come on. I had I could move. There we go. Uh, the next edition brings to the map the ATS map design team felt that some gaps uh, on the map deserved to be filled, while others' uh, previous work should uh, get a retouch. Uh, let's see. So we've got three new roads: US 550 from Albuquerque to Bloomfield or Farmington, uh, US 95 from Yuma to Quartzsite or uh, Ehrenberg. And US 191, which connects I-10 to I to US 60. Also, the intersection of I-5 and I-80 has been raised to the ground and built completely from scratch. So that's going to be interesting. Maybe we can find a route that's going to go through there today. Uh, while driving on US 191, uh, right by the newly added small city of Clifton, you'll discover Mornsey Mine if I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, the biggest copper mine in the United States, surely a good place to visit since there are, since there's also a new cargo deck or cargo dock. Okay. Cargo dock. Okay. Uh, we're going to scroll through here real quick. The new ATS update brings trailer cables on all AI trucks. I, I guess they said people were, were wanting that. I don't uh, Okay. Whatever. Uh, and one new restriction, long trailers, 53, 53 feet, 40 plus feet with kingpin to rear axle, uh, are now forbidden in California. Plus one of the community's smaller wishes, parking brake is now disabled by default. Uh, those who liked its function need to turn it back on in the game options. Okay, good. So that means when you get into truck, the parking brake shouldn't be on. But yeah, then a new restriction, 53 foot, 40 plus feet from Kingpin to rear axle are now forbidden in California. Okay. 
Uh, several changes to the code and data were made related to re rendering optimization, and it appears to have brought a very nice frame rate improvement in some scenarios. But since the experience may vary, do share yours with us, please. We're really interested in your feedback and notif noticeable FPS changes. Now, Comfy Sauce came in there and he says he's seeing a 75% increase on FPS. Maybe we'll see it here today. I don't know. Uh, since I'm also going to be recording, it kind of puts a damper on it. But you guys, if you're, if you're definitely seeing a difference, by all means, leave it down in the comments or reply to, the, reply to SCS on the blog. It will be linked down in the description for you. And leave your reply there. Um, so yeah, enjoy all the new additions. Yeah, they don't say what they do to get the different FPS. Change the job filters redesigned. Some of the old trailers discarded and then re uh, redesigned. Remade and redesigned a few places. AI vehicles, okay. Rendering speed up, option for automatic parking brake. And the 53 foot mod alert, completely redesigned trailer cargo logic. Uh, cargo data, trailer data, economy, etc. Most mods will need some work to catch up. So yeah. That's the main thing. This thing breaks a lot of mods, folks. So make sure you clear out that mods list. So let's get into the trailer dealer. Let's go. Let's go shopping here. So what are we going to start with here? Let's go with oh, something basic. Let's just go with the flatbed. Because I'm not seeing. Oh, there's a the dry box. I'm not seeing any tankers or anything. So standard trailers. I wonder if that means there's going to be one for specialized trailers coming up soon. Or maybe you have to unlock it. $30,000 just for this this guy right here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I didn't just buy that, did I? No, I wanted to customize. Ugh, this is getting annoying. That's the third time it's come up saying loading Steam items. Stop. Just stop. All right, so we got single. We can change it. Oh yeah, we can change it right there. Cool. Let's stick with that. Aluminum. Ooh, let's go with that one. There's a curtain side option. I just went and screwed it up, didn't I? Oh, there we go. Forty-five, forty-five spread, forty-five three axles, forty-eight to the front. Wow, you really can. Really have a few options here. Nice. I want the spread with the toolbox. Can I get that? Or is that going to be a different option? I'll just stick with the 48 spread. I didn't see an option for a toolbox. Maybe there's down here. Oh, well, you can do what? No. Why the hell would you have? I think I'll just stick with straight up black. <laughs> I'll just stick with the straight up black. That works just fine. I mean, because the green just wasn't. Yeah. You can't change down here, though. That's the thing. That's what I'd like to change. Then again, this is supposed to be aluminum. I can't cancel it. Damn. Oh, leave it black. Okay. All right, accessories. What do we got here? Gives me an option for lights, but I don't see them. Ah, here we go. We'll put a. Eh, I think I'll just leave that open. The box can go right here. Does that put one on the other side? Oh, you got to do it yourself. So now we got the box there. No, I don't want flags. Forget that noise. It's already got the lights there. So let's take a look at the rims. Yeah, we got to get some aluminums on there. Uh, 
There we go. There we go. Alright, and... See, that looks like it's an aluminum tire. And I'm putting chrome on it. That works. No, I don't want double hook now. No, and... Ooh, I like that look. That's a better look. So there we go. What do we got up here? We can put the header up here? Steel wall? No, I'll, I'll skip that. Yeah. Walls are for losers. I'm a little curious about this. Why? Oh, there they are. Look really closely. There they are right there. Very small LEDs. There we go. Okay, that'll work. So there's my first trailer. $45,000. Not too bad. Purchase that bad boy. Um, Fresno, I guess. Yeah, okay. So there's our first trailer. Let's see if I can go hook up to it. Or do I got a... Huh. Alright. Uh, hang on a second and then I'll figure this out. Alright, so here we are. We've got the trailer now. Now, I came over here to my shop. The main... Where I told it to go. Fresno, my main shop. And it wasn't here. I don't see it. So, what I did was I came over here and looked in the trailer manager area. And it was showing up down here and not doing anything. It wasn't hooked up or anything. So you can make a, let me see if I can unhook from this. There we go. Uh, so here's what you're going to see when you select your trailer, relocate, sell, configure, make public or make private. Right now it is private. You can see the little lock over here, status, or park it. So if you park it, I guess it disappears. I don't think, th I have not noticed if there's a trailer lot sitting around or something like that. So you have to tell it that you want it. Do you really want to store your trailer in the garage? Yes. Now it's going to be disconnected. So I want to use it. And now it's attached. You can see the truck right there that it's hooked up to. And there you go. And I'm guessing this is the license plate. So here's your stats with the 248 foot. 8 feet 6 inches, tear, or empty weight is 12,799, axle count 2, liftable axles no, steerable no, total length 48 foot, construction equipment and material, that's a typical cargo type. So, now that we've got that, let's go to the job market. Cargo market finally lights up, and here we go, we've got all these different things. It's weird just seeing the product and no trailer, it, it's just weird. So let me get situated here with the cargo and imagine modders are probably going to come out with just cargo packs. Now you can, this opens the door for a whole slew of new mods for trailer ownership. Now van, not so much tanker, not so much. You know, I imagine cause you don't see the cargo and it'll be interesting to see how that shows up too. But as far as flatbed goes, Anything you can think of can probably be put into the game now. You know, it, you want those tires. Okay, the, throw those tires in here. You know, lots of different things. Uh, really opens the door here for new material to be brought in that I'm sure some of us might have been wanting for the longest time. But I'm going to get a load figured out here. I really wouldn't mind taking something that's going to go with like from here to Truckee or somewhere. And I would like to see the I-5, I-80 I uh, interchange setup. So uh, let me get this figured out here and then I'll be right back. All right, so for you, those of you who do quick travel, you know, just instead of driving to where you need to go, you just get, you have your dev thing open so you can just hit zero and then go wherever you want and so on. And then the F9 to drop your truck. Keep in mind, you have your trailer hooked up to you. So when you drop down, make sure you've got enough space behind you for your trailer. There you go. So I'm already lined up here. Let's get in. Cargo market. There we go. Going from San Francisco to Reno. So now I have to back it into that spot. Okay. 
cargo is ready to be loaded, proceed to the loading area. This will be interesting. Still didn't fix the game save lag. That's still a thing. Turn off your engine, okay. There we go, cargo loading. Oh, they got the time in here as well too, nice. Cargo has been loaded, follow a route to the target company. Then away we go. I'm still in the shop, apparently. Or at least my mirror is. Okay, so that's a thing. Now, keep in mind, I am running a couple of mods here still, so that could be an issue why it's happening, or maybe it is a possible game bug, but... It's sounding so nice before, and then you get in the cab, and yeah, ew, it sounds like a dying cicada.
What about F2? Oh! Game crash! Nice! Alright, so we're back. Um, yeah, don't use F2 for your mirrors. <laughs> I looked in the log, and uh, I didn't see anything there. It was saying something about error parked vehicle, and that was it. So, are we fixed on the inside? Maybe? I can't quite tell. That looks weird. That works, so I'm guessing no, we're not fixed. So, don't use F2, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get rolling here, then. Just a black screen. I'm sure someone in the comments will let me know what's causing it. I have no no idea as I'm recording this, but I'm just gonna let it ride. Now, money has also been fixed on this. Let me six. As you can see, I'm only making $5,300 on this one. What'd you do? Well, two objects of solid matter cannot occupy the same place in space at the same time. Sixteen thousand pounds too, so I'm not weighing a whole lot, and that's just the cargo. Remind, remember that, because the trailer itself is twelve thousand pounds. So, you know, I wonder if how many of you guys are going to end up doing a profile reset. This really changes things up here, because now you kind of have to grind your way through making money on the jobs. Come on, I'm in gear, let's go. I mean, that could be interesting for those who are doing the career thing here with this with the game. too well. Why do people have to change engine brake sounds? If it ain't broke, don't fix it.
right time to sit back and enjoy the cruise all the way to Reno. I did notice that the... I mean, is it me or do they look like they're a little... Well, no, they're pretty much... I don't know. It almost looks like they're... The, the, the concrete tubes are placed a little forward. Does that look right to you guys? New wheel, too. I haven't seen this one before. This one is definitely different. So we're going to be heading over to the I-5, I-80 interchange here to see what exactly they've changed. This is the main reason why I took this route heading over to Reno. Nothing was going to Truckee. Nothing was coming out of Truckee. So I had to take this one. I think for the most of this trip, I'll just stay quiet. You guys can enjoy the sounds of the N14-600. Except for the interior engine brake. I don't know why that's all jacked up and window licking stupid, but... Oh, actually, I also just remembered I can discuss another thing that recently happened uh, this past Wednesday and this coming Wednesday as well. Let's see, it's the 19th, the same day you guys are watching this, so this coming Wednesday here, which makes it, what, the 23rd? Oh, yeah. No, 22nd. Yeah, Monday's the 20th. 21, yeah, 22. Uh, <laughs> I can count. Uh, so anyway, Wednesday, uh, this coming Wednesday, I'm going to do it again and then apply for the creator uh, license or whatever, you know, the creator's team on Facebook. But this past Wednesday, ATS did really well over there, better than it ever did on YouTube, far better than it ever, well, no, it did great once on Twitch, but that was also the night that I was getting trolled for over two hours and no admin was around to do anything. Oh, wait, 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 hold on. Hold that thought, here we go. New interchange. nice so yeah the Facebook stream went great uh, hit over a hundred viewers multiple times I mean it was holding steady uh, 40s low 50s and I'm like hey this is all right I can I can do this and then all of a sudden it started creeping up got up to 70 got the 80 and then it was hanging in the 90s for a while and then it went over a hundred and then came back down in a in the 90s and 80s and went back out over a hundred so that was really cool, and unfortunately, Facebook caps me at 720 FPS, or 720 at 30 frames, or at 30 FPS. Once I get one more stream in here, because I had to stream at least four times, I, or, I'm sorry, twice within two weeks, and for four hours within two weeks, once I do that, then I can apply for the creators program over on Facebook, 
and that, once I'm accepted, allows me to do 1080, and I think it's 60, maybe, possibly, um, but also allows you guys to support the, ch the page and the channel with cheering stars, which is just like bits over on Twitch. Now, of course, there are some within my group that usually watch over on Twitch that want nothing to do with Facebook. In fact, I heard a few complaints. Go back to Twitch. Go back to Twitch. But there are a lot of people that don't want to go to Twitch. So I think this is... Because I, I don't want to come back to YouTube. YouTube is a shitstorm right now. It really is. So I don't want to deal with it. It's a headache and a half. Some people are having worse. Some people are not. Whatever. But Facebook, okay. The only downside is, is I can't play any music over there. That's why I like being over on Twitch. Twitch doesn't slap me in the middle of my live streams. Facebook did. Facebook actually shut down the stream for people in Australia. I'm like an hour, hour and a half into the stream. I usually stream for three hours. And I had country music playing. All of a sudden I get an alert saying Sony Music Entertainment or whatever has filed a copyright on, on, your, on your stream. And then I, I see, I look at the mobile and it says, this stream is not allowed to be, you know, it has been shut down in Australia. And one of my, one of the longtime supporters over on Twitch is out of Australia and he was pissed. He couldn't watch it anymore. So I turned off the music after that. And uh, so th there's that. No more music can be played. So Twitch it's the only place I can get away with it. Facebook and YouTube will slap me silly as soon as I start playing music, so... There is that downside. But, uh, you know, everything else does great over on Twitch. And yeah, there are still some people who refuse to go there or can't go there. You know, that's all, you know, okay, fine. I'm not gonna go full-time here on YouTube with this live streaming. I'm not going to go full time on Facebook with the live streaming. Twitch offers way more things for not just for me, but for you guys as well. So I'm not going to go that route. But ATS, I could do as a regular basis over on Facebook. I don't rule it out. I don't want to give up a stream night over on Twitch since I do that five days a week. I kind of don't want to do that, but I don't know. It's something that I have to work out, so I'm going to I'm gonna try this out for a few more weeks, see how it goes, see how you guys like it, and make my decision after that. But right now, it looks like every Wednesday, uh, I will be doing the Facebook live stream of ATS, so make sure you guys like or follow the page, CasketMan20, link is down there in the description. Uh, other than that, yeah, it went real well. People really didn't have any lag issues. It, it stayed pretty clean. Um, it wasn't, for some, they said it wasn't jockeying all over the place for resolution like it does on Twitch. Others said it's seamless, it's automatic, it doesn't, you know, have to buffer every time it does it, this and that, whatever. So, you know, to each their own, everyone had different experiences with it, but overall, it was positive. It was a positive experience. Um, so, I'm working on bringing over some of the, the bots that I have, because that keeps it a little more entertaining for everyone. Over on Twitch, I use the Streamlabs chat bot. And people are able, to, are able to play games there, Heist, and a couple others, and earn tombstones. Um, I have to look and see what I can use here for Facebook. And also, you know, the Streamlabs OBS doesn't... Oh, Sunoco, how about that? Um, shiny thing. The uh, uh, Streamlabs doesn't really... The chatbot or OBS doesn't work for Facebook. So I have to find something else I can use. Now, there is the possibility of using uh, the NVIDIA 
program that I have here, the NVIDIA experience to, what is it, Shadow Play? Use that. Uh, that is Facebook compatible. Uh, OBS, which I used recent on this last time, is compatible as well. Uh, I got to work on overlays and whatever else I can do. And, because there isn't as much over on um, Facebook as there is on Twitch, like I said. So you guys are missing out on some fun stuff. But I'll get it all sorted out and figured out. And hopefully we'll have a good time over there. Chat is the only other problem, too. It, I was having a hard time keeping up with chat. Because it wasn't always scrolling with the newest comments. And so I was finding myself having to figure out, okay, how can I keep this to the newest comments? And I only had like seven comments I could view. It wasn't a very large chat box. So it was really easy for me to miss things that people said. You know, so there's, there's, there, there's differences here that I have to work out, that I have to get accustomed to. And all in due time, I will. I will, so... Hopefully you guys join in over there, and uh, yeah, this Wednesday could be interesting with uh, with 1.32 here. Maybe I'll buy a fleet of trailers or something. I don't know. Hopefully the mirror is fixed as well. up high enough. Red light for no one. God, I love that. Should it just be like a drag race? Just redline the engine and ready to go and just drop the clutch? Just dump it? All these game saves are just killer. This offload could be interesting. Yeah, now's the time to go ahead and start up Tombstone Transport, if I decide to do that or not. I'm 
never approached really anyone. I mean, I did, I talked to EVR about it, but he doesn't skin anymore. And I don't have any other skinners approaching me saying, hey, you want to do a skin, you know, so. Oh, same offload point, okay. I was worried that they were going to change these. And you have to offload in a new spot, so it's just the pickups, apparently. Yeah, I'm not quite there, am I? Oh, there it is. Stop the engine? Okay, that's different. That's still new. That's a thing. There we go. Offloaded. Yes, okay. Current company job offers. Ooh, okay, you have a choice if you want to take another load. Which I'm not going to do, though. So that's nice. That's a nice touch. So if you, you know, you can just pick up where he dropped off. But there we go. Hey, stop. Park. There we go. Alright guys, that is going to do it here for this one. Hopefully you did enjoy. It's a longer than normal. Uh, kind of all over the place, but exploring this and we got still some more to do here, I think. But you guys get the idea. Very, very nice. Nice touch. Nice option. I'm looking forward to what else they bring out. As well as what the modders are going to bring out too, so we can customize these things a little more. You know, customizable chassis underneath the trailer there. New rims, new tires. You know, all these different options that can come out just for the trailers alone. I'm looking forward to it. I'm really... It's, this is going to be good. As well as the cargos. The sky's the limit when it comes to the cargos, guys. This is going to be fun. I can't wait. Ah, oh, this is good. This is good. All right, enough of that. Time for me to get out of here. Thank you all for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy. Make sure you hit that like button if you did. If you didn't, we'll do the opposite. If you're not subscribed here on YouTube, please do so. Also, check down in below in the description for links to not only the mods that I use, which is only going to be a handful today, but also for Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. Like, follow, subscribe to all those, and keep up on what's going on. Don't miss out on the live streams with Twitch. And also the Discord is so you guys can talk about Farm Sim, Seven Days to Die, ATS, whatever you want to talk about. It's all over there. So until next time, thanks for watching. Take it easy.